Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Whereas gods and ghosts are purely spiritual, lake monsters are another matter, a subject which offers itself to scientific examination. Modern technology makes it possible to penetrate even the deepest waters in search of proof of the existence of these monsters, which have fired the imagination of locals and visitors alike. Do they really exist, or are they only a product of fantasy? Well, one monster, for sure, lives in the Loch Ness Lake in Scotland. Nessie, dubbed as the Loch Ness Monster, can be found in the deepest parts of the lake. Let's take a look at 10 times the monster was spotted in real life. But before we get into that, like and subscribe this video, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 10. There were 16 sightings of the Loch's mythical monster in 2016, which was the highest number of annual sightings in 36 years. The most recent sighting comes from Ian O. Fadahagen from County Donegal, Republic of Ireland, and experienced Nessie hunter. Mr. O. Fadigan believes he saw a 20 to 25 foot Nessie popping three feet out of the water as it swam in Loch Ness. The hunter said it was his fourth sighting of the monster in the year earlier that year. Scientists from New Zealand extracted DNA samples from across Loch Ness and found no dinosaur DNA. The mythical monster had been rumored to be a plesiosaur, a dinosaur which lived up until the end of the dinosaur's time on Earth 66 million years ago. Number 9. State-of-the-art sonar equipment, a yellow submarine, and even a white witch have all been used to try to discover the elusive Loch Ness Monster. If you think that's not real, then you have to think again, as it's not that hard to track down Nessie, all you need is a smartphone. Mysterious images taken from space are making waves with Nessie fans as they appear to show a creature swimming in the world's most famous loch. The pictures were captured separately by two amateur hunters, Peter Thane and Andy Dixon, as they used an iPhone satellite map app. It had been feared that the 1,500-year-old legend was over after 18 months without a recognized sighting, but now enthusiast hopes have been raised again. Number 8. A YouTuber named Odin Z2 in Norway stopped on a highway when he says something disturbing and really creepy was going on in the lake near the bridge. Taking advantage of the opportunity, he quickly took out his camera and started recording. If you look carefully, you can see that something huge and shining is emerging from the inside. It can be assumed that some huge sea creature was seen being surfaced there, or it could be a huge pile of garbage. Can't be sure. People in Norway believe that it was Selma, which is basically the Norwegian version of the Loch Ness Monster. This thing looks as huge and weird as a monster. If there's some fishing expert watching this, please let us know what it could be. Number 7. That's firmly in the realm of myth, but stories about a monster in Lake Brosno abound, essentially making Brosnia Russia's equivalent of the Loch Ness Monster. In 2002, a Russian UFO group organized an expedition to take sonar readings of the lake, reporting a huge jelly-like mass lying just above the lake bed. Since this was Russia, they immediately attached an explosive device at it, prompting it to start rapidly rising to the surface. Fortunately, when the team looked into the water, there was nothing resembling a monster. Some Soviet skeptics have suggested scientific scenarios supposedly solving the serpent sightings. For example, it's possible that hydrogen sulfide occasionally builds up at the bottom of the lake and rushes to the surface, creating an eruption of bubbles that might be mistaken for an underwater creature. Alternatively, a volcanic fracture at the bottom of the lake might eject similar gases. Number 6. Surgeon's Photograph one of the most iconic images of Nessie is known as the Surgeon's Photograph, which many consider to be good evidence of the monster, although doubts about the photograph's authenticity were expressed from the beginning. The image was revealed as a hoax in the 1990s. The photographer, a gynecologist named Robert Kenneth Wilson, never claimed it to be a picture of the monster. He merely claimed to have photographed something in the water. The photo is often cropped to make the monster seem huge, while the original uncropped shot shows the other end of the lock and the monster in the center. Just a year before the hoax was revealed, the makers of Discovery Communications documentary Loch Ness Discovered did an analysis of the uncropped image and found a white object evident in every version of the photo, implying that it was on the negative. 
it seems to be the source of the ripples in the water, almost as if the object was being towed by something, the narrator said. But science cannot rule out that it was just a blemish on the negative. Additionally, the analysis of the full photograph revealed the object to be quite small, only about two to three feet long. Number five, dead Loch Ness Monster. In 1972, newspapers around the world reported that the dead body of the Loch Ness Monster had been found. A team of scientists from a Yorkshire zoo had been on a research expedition when they came across the tragic find. However, it turned out to be an elaborate prank pulled off by one of their colleagues, which gained a lot more attention than he had initially planned. A large bull elephant seal had died at the zoo some weeks earlier. The zookeeper had seen the opportunity for a prank, shaved the seal's whiskers, and patted its mouth to make it look more Nessie-like. The animal was then frozen and taken up to Loch Ness Lake, thrown into the lock for his colleagues to find. The prank gained more attention than the Joker intended when police chased down the English team's truck so that they could retrieve Nessie's body. That is a very sick prank, doing all that to a dead elephant seal. Number 4. Consuela Ross simply wanted to take some photos of the scenery while walking on the banks of Loch Ness with her daughter and granddaughter. But the 50-year-old took home more than just images that day. Ross now claims to have witnessed the Loch Ness Monster and has emerged to the surface to get some air when a black hump emerged from Britain's biggest loch. However, legend has it that the creature appears along with the tremors on Earth and the swirling bubbles. The 73-year-old Campbell Ross, Connie's husband, said he regrets staying in the car park because he's also a believer of the strange creature living in the loch. Number 3 Even though it was sighted in 1933, sightings of the creature on land around the loch reputedly date back to the 16th century. Modern interest in the monster was sparked by a July 22, 1933 sighting. People described the creature as having a large body about 4 feet high and 25 feet long, narrow neck, slightly thicker than an elephant's trunk. The neck had a number of ripples in it. They saw no limbs because the animal was in the water. Not only has the Loch Ness Monster been photographed repeatedly, but it's also been caught on videotape, as recently as 2007, and on sonar equipment. Unfortunately, however, the footage and photos are never clear enough to give a definite answer as to what the creature is. Some speculate it may be a plesiosaur, a descendant of old dinosaurs that survived the rest of the dinosaur population. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. It's very easy to be fooled by this picture. It seems like it's the Loch Ness Monster. But if you carefully zoom in, you'll be able to spot its eyes. It's actually an elephant who's in the water taking a bath. The picture's very real, but sadly, not of the Loch Ness Monster. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, the long-awaited confession. This story will blow your mind. In 1934, a doctor named Robert Kenneth Wilson offered a picture to the Daily Mail newspaper. Wilson told the newspaper that he noticed something moving in the Loch Ness and stopped his car to take the photo. Wilson refused to have his name associated with the photo, so it became simply known as the surgeon's photo. We've talked about it earlier. For decades, this photo was considered to be the best evidence of the existence of the Loch Ness Monster. In 1994, at the age of 93 and near death, Christian confessed that the surgeon's photo taken 60 years ago was a hoax, and the mastermind behind it was his stepfather, Marmaduke Wetherill. He just wanted to fool everyone for decades. In the early 1930s, sightings of the Loch Ness Monster became commonplace, so Sperling's stepfather was hired by the Daily Mail newspaper to investigate. He found some huge tracks leading to the lake that he proudly displayed to the press, when the Natural History Museum investigated, they quickly discovered that the footprints were a hoax. Wetherill, the name of the stepfather, was humiliated when the newspaper reported this and for being fooled by the prank. 
For revenge, he asked his stepson, Chris Sperling, to make something that would fool the public. Sperling started with a toy submarine, then added a long neck and a small head. The finished product was about 45 centimeters long and 30 centimeters high. Weatherall then went down to the lake and took some pictures of the so-called monster. To add respectability to the hoax, he convinced Dr. Wilson, whom he knew through a mutual friend, to develop the photo and sell it to the Daily Mail. We know it's a lot to take in, but everything that you have known might just be a lie. People still believe that there's a monster in the lake, and the rumors will definitely go on forever. That's our list of the 10 times the Loch Ness Monster was spotted in real life. Do you believe the monster's real? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.